so we're in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> the sand in this part of the desert is fine enough that the afternoon wind keeps whipping it up, and the cloth turbans and fa face covers don't help your ability to see the world around you. In fact, okay. it's not till you feel the texture of the ground change under your feet that you realize you're approaching the oasis. The dunes you've been walking around curve and open into a small clearing of grasses, emerald ferns, sapphire water, and more than a few desert trees. Perception awareness. All good. Woo! Uh, you have a minus one penalty due to either your face mask or if you're not wearing your face mask for whatever reason, the swirl and dust in your face. Greg, you negate the penalty because you have a plus one as well from your danger sense. Oh, uh, so perception and awareness. And <coughs> danger sense, okay. Yes, and plus one from your danger sense. You have a two? Oh, yeah, you're careful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the any minus is from not having a skill. Minus one. Okay. If you're attempting a skill of untrained. What was the roll? I'm sorry. Perception? Yeah. Awareness. Okay. Uh, for their one, basically. If you were unskilled as well. Yeah, I, you don't have awareness? Nope. I was about to say, I didn't give you awareness? And then I'm like, oh, wait, I didn't make a character. Oh, nope. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Heart. Four. Heart, death. Heart. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. You know what? I'd like to B? B. Compare our numbers. I know. I that should be a general achievement. Five, five. Oh my god! Four, it's only four, four. Yeah. I'm rolling. Okay. Three. We got two three. more than knock on a roll. Just okay. outroll them in general. No, yeah, that should be yeah. an achievement by itself. I was like, outroll knock in anything. It doesn't we matter. We got a seven, <laughs> a zero, a nine, and a seven. Even if it's in character generation. <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> so for people just tuning in, knock rolls extreme numbers. It's I insane. really don't think there's anyone. I actually, no, I'm sorry. I think everyone is just tuning in, really. Probably. <laughs> this is going to be the first video on our channel. Unless we manage to get up the 7C playtest first, which I just found the footage for. No. Okay. I'm putting my editorial skills on this one before I do that one. All right. That's what right. Uh, okay. All right. So at this point, everybody gets to roll joint battle. These rolls happen before I describe what happens, because what if the joint battle reveals depends on... So but Dennis, there's this joint battle project. number right down here yep. under healthy defense, and it has a number. What does that mean? That's your predetermined joint battle dice pool. How do we utilize it? You roll that many dice. <laughs> That's all I'm giving you. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm trying to activate the tutorial. <laughs> I don't get can big help at one. Make it work. <laughs> Wait, <somebody laughs> Bill Nye. Um, I need a piece of crap paper. Bill Nye, if you see this, no. Which Bill Nye? Bill Nye, the science, science guy. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. And then that was edited out for copyright. I was, Bang. <laughs> I was just gonna tell Bill Nye that he loved. No. Um, scrap paper. There is, is either this. Or no, that's mine. Where's the notebook? Fuck you, stuff. There's a there's a notepad. There's a box of them underneath here. Well, I'm not on that side. I know you're not. <laughs> so get up. But there was one right here. No, there wasn't. There was a notepad. I don't here. know where it went. <laughs> you cleaned it off. I know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, yeah, you got it. Okay. Hello. So, uh, the joint battle roll is the first step in any sort of uh, initiative based encounter. Be that a particularly tense scene that is best determined in order of action, which doesn't really isn't really a thing in Exalted, but happens in other systems. Um, or more specifically, comma. Uh, each character participating in a battle rolls their uh, each character even not participating but observing a battle rolls their joint battle, uh, and then adds three to get their initiative total. Wait, what? You add three to your successes, your successes and get that's your initiative. That's your initiative. Oh, it's always three, three plus with roll plus three. Yes. Oh, your successes plus three. Where'd my pencil go? Oh, okay. You took it with you, and now it's gone forever. Like shit. Is it in the pizza box? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jeff stole it. Three, four. What? Five, six. Where's five and six? This pencil? Yes. Yeah. Or is it the same? Couple of cuts on the side. Six, seven, eight. Is it on the counter? Why don't you just take this orange one sticking out right here? Because that one's mine, but he can totally use it because I stole it. I stole it. 
Uh, best way to track initiative for storytellers is actually with a dry erase thing. No. We don't want to get the hand on ones. We didn't set the frames for the spell whiteboard. No, we didn't. Yeah. Um, and I don't know where the handheld ones would be. Second best is they blank you the favor. Give me two seconds. Third best is a well trained houseboy who's good at math. That's not what it was. You gotta find that on Craigslist and then that's Where's my sister? <laughs> okay, she does not qualify as a houseboy. Houseboy. But she is good at math. Houseboy. She needs to train the houseboy. Yes. Okay. She can tutor the houseboy. Okay. House um, tutor. Because I didn't write it down earlier. Work. Who got three successes on their survival roll? Or awareness roll. Five seconds ago. Uh, you, you, and you didn't roll. Okay, so. Because I was set to make two. And I made a spoon and apron. What'd you call me? Spoon. Oh, okay. I thought you called me Sage Spoon. I was like, that's not my name. I'm Sage. sage. I'm oh, spoon. yeah, okay. <clears throat> um, Porter. Porter roll. Did you add your three? Well, no, for the... the it, you you, you roll, awareness. take how many successes it is, add three, that's your total. No, you oh, just the, now? For the for joint battle. Joint battle, I got the two plus the three is five. Okay. So you did add the three. You're moving too fast for him again. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. I was literally talking about the awareness roll because I was making Yeah, that's what I was talking about too. You're even ahead of Dennis. But, <laughs> but. Then I have to figure out where the fuck he landed. Uh, where are we going? Oh, uh, that was weird. <coughs> Ask him. I got a six on my word. And two rows. No one meant that it was five. No. Oh, you got the six? Okay, so. Oh, wait, yeah. oh, it was five. Separate things. It was two. Very important. From him. Yep, I got it. Thanks, buddy. Two rows. You're starting an extra. Five. Uh, Sage. Five. Who has the higher drum battle? Probably him. Six. Yeah. How do you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's two stats. Oh, okay. That's so, so, so high. <laughs> um, spoon. Seven. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I rolled really well. What is your joint battle? Four. <laughs> what is your awareness? Ooh. Um, one. Okay. Uh, who, <laughs> who are you? Apron. <laughs> Nine. Okay, thank you. I'm not an owl! <clears throat> I'm like, who are you? Ooh. Shit. What are you? Oh, eight. Okay. Uh, joint battle? Joint battle is seven. Ooh, damn. Yeah. You are clearly the martial arts master. Huh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. What? Uh, keep in mind, a drawing weapon is a. Uh, Ready? Yeah, action. She, he asked what my joint battle was. Oh! Yes. Uh, strong weapon is an action. It can be flurried, which imposes a minus three penalty to your other actions, but it does incur an additional minus one defensive penalty. All of you, uh, as a side note for the viewers and for the players, I have calculated a parry value for all of you, regardless of whether or not you have a weapon that can actually parry. If you do not, you have to stunt parrying with your bare hands on a lethal weapon. Okay. How do we know if we have a weapon that can parry? Uh, if your weapon does not have a defense rating, it is not a weapon that can parry. Huh. Yeah, so so says, even if it says plus zero, that counts as a defense That counts as a defense rating. <clears throat> uh, specifically, some people have a tap. Like my chocolate. Where the defense rating is. I can totally parry with the chalk and pretty You could! Um, but you have to describe it. Yeah. It's not automatically best My fists? Do we parry with those? You have yes. to stunt it. If you're, stunt, if you're parrying a lethal attack, okay. uh, which is an attack that deals lethal damage decisively, then you have to stunt your parry. You naturally, however, use the highest defense or evasion, or parry or evasion as your defense. Hmm. What did he say? 
then whatever. <laughs> you choose. You <laughs> choose. All right. The highest submission roll was nine. You go first. Uh, in this, you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I was a surprise. Um, you are very clearly cognizant of four sets of very reptilian man height eyes in the grasses and the ferns, some of which are fairly well concealed. All right, I am going to flurry a withering attack. Okay. In regards to give the entire party a bonus, uh, or the advantage. Um, and I'm using the chopping action as he hoists his crimson quiet. Can chopping be used in a fight? It didn't say it could. Okay. One of them can't. I think it's smashing. I think it's smashing. Because chopping is an arc. Yeah. And I'm going inside. I'm going horizontal. Okay. Right. So he takes two bounds towards the grass and spins, throwing his full weight into the axe as he chops through the grass and at all three or four of the lizards to force them back, also cutting down the grass, uh, giving more visual uh, to the party, reducing what they, how much yeah. they can hide on. Yeah. Uh, you're taking a minus three for your attack. And you're taking a minus one to your defense as well. Mm -hmm. And minus one in the shift. Okay. That's important. Yes. I was like, oh. I but my guess. withering attack's raw damage uh, is increased by three. <laughs> one point of defense until the attacker's next turn, as well as one point of damage. Yes, both. So let's see. I'm rolling strength? No. Dex? Yep. You're rolling your dice pool. It's actually calculated for your weapon. Oh, that's right. Uh, nine. What is my stuff? Two points. Two dots. Two dots. I will put a willpower into it. Okay. So I have two successes plus a roll of 11 dice. Specifically, which one are you targeting? You can't handle all. Three. I'm sorry if I forgot to mention that they are surrounding you already by the time the ambush happens. Ah! Yes. You made it sound like they were in a line no. in the grass. No, no. Also, you can't target them. Then it's not a flurry. It's a flurry to draw your weapon. Oh, that's right. That's what I assumed the flurry was. was I'm flurrying because I'm drawing my weapon. You can't flurry multiple attacks unless you have a charm that says, oh, different from previous editions. Yes, that's true. You can't flurry multiple attacks anymore. You can only attack once. Unless hmm. you have a charm that says otherwise. Legit. I'm attacking hmm. the one closest to the border. Okay. Protect you! How many chocolates do I have? One. Fuck you. I'm gonna say two. <laughs> Should be nice. <laughs> They're in short range already. So, jumping range range, your movement to jump range range to grab the chakrams isn't gonna be a problem. Okay. I don't think there. anyways, but... I'll give you five. I'll, I, no. You know what, Greg? You have dramatically appropriate ammunition. <laughs> Just don't botch. Okay. <laughs> we'll just assume that I, like, hop and skip over I'm, to it and grab I'm it again. I'm a huge, like, yes. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of dramatically appropriate ammunition. <laughs> I have nine successes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Begins. Your... Even though it was a withering attack, he's dead. <laughs> Wait, well, uh, including your, uh, bonuses. From the sun? Eleven. And the willpower. Okay, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, da, da, da. You guys have... One well, of these days I'll remember to add that. I'm going to start at seven bonus. Damn. So you have seven threshold. Seven threshold? Uh, what's your raw damage? Thirteen. So... Twenty-three. <coughs> Plus an additional what? three from chopping. Sorry, when I say raw damage, I mean damage on your sheet plus threshold. Damage on my sheet is plus 13. Okay. Plus 7 is plus 20. Yes. Plus 3 to my raw damage from chopping. Okay. 23. Cool. Thank you. That was if you start at threshold plus. Yeah. No, this applied. The plus 3 goes to the base raw damage. I'm informing you of my preference. Okay. So if you start at 
uh, what's on the sheet plus your threshold, then move from there. Oh, okay. That gets okay. Get faster. Um, so 23 total? Yes. 16 days. That's a lot. That's what you add to your pool? So no, that's how much I'm rolling for damage. Yep. So it's two. Oh, so that's 20 dice attack minus one his damage. So, are you doing a lethal? Nope. No, I'm doing a withering attack. Oh. That's why it's so hard. Oh. So 16. What the hell? Yes. Do 10s count as 2 still? On withering, yes. Okay. Not on decisive. Plus 16? Yeah. I'm, doing, 16 I'm rolling 16 dice. dice. Okay. To so now Just determine two. how much damage I do to his initiative and how much initiative I gain. That's crazy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Okay, so he is at negative 5. <laughs> Damn! Crash. You gain. Uh, crash the character is considered to have hardness 0. Mm -hmm. Regardless of any magic or equipment employed, a uh, character in the initial crash cannot launch decisive attacks. <coughs> So can't use terms of parallel keyword, not that it matters. Oh, yes. Withering attacks continue to affect your crash character normally. Except we all have to draw our weapons, so. Yeah. I know it's. If you don't mind. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a heavy character as it is, so. And that's wine wine, not mead, so it actually will go bad rather quickly once it's been opened. Yeah. So. Uh, if a character enters the next clock, so crashes as a result of his it, own actions, like a uh, he immediately loses another five mission. Wait, what? God. Wait, wait, what? what? Yeah. Yeah. If you crash yourself, oh. you lose an additional five. Oh. Oh, so if you do a withering attack and fail, you lose initiative. No. If you, for instance, attempt to withdraw, which oh. costs two initiative, when you only have two initiative, Oh, gotcha! And your withdraw action at negative five. Fuck! Yeah. That's crazy. When a character forces an, an opponent into initiative crash with an attack, he gains what is known as an initiative break, plus five bonus to initiative. So I get 16 into my initiative. You get 16 to your initiative. So I was at eight. Yes. So you are now at 24. What the fuck? <laughs> so I kill someone next turn. Yeah. <laughs> but I crashed him so great can shock him his head off. Yeah. Or he has to charge. <laughs> yeah, flurry it! it. No, no, <laughs> flurry it, and stunt it. The only thing that doesn't help me is that I picked quick draw archery, so I don't take the minus to <laughs> draw your bow. The minus to defense to draw my bow when I don't. Who's have in front? What? Who was in front? You, uh, well, actually, sorry, are? you're in front now. I'm yeah, no, I didn't decide marching order before I started this, and now I'm regretting it because I need to kind of. This kind of kind of but now I'm in front because I jumped to the one in front of the porter who was closest to the porter to protect the porter. Because right. I'm in the cart. You're in the cart? Or oh, he was driving it. So. Yeah, okay. oh, driving so. the cart. So I'm like, yeah. yeah. Uh, and if, I, if, we keep, if I keep him safe for the moment, I'm well. also keeping the donkey safe for the moment, and he can keep the donkey from freaking the fuck out. Donkey. Yeah. I mean, and losing our <laughs> donkey, yes, donkey, donkey is on there. Right. Actually, donkey is on With the donkey being left or right cart? No. It's just going to count the porter. Top down, right. Probably around the side because I need to make sure yeah. alcohol doesn't drip out. Yeah. I'll be left with curtain. Okay. It's important. Sage and Spoon, where are you? Um, oh, you already. You already um, I'm going to be. I'm not asking what you're doing. I'm asking where you were in the marching. No, no, no. I was next to the donkey, so I was uh, up front, I guess. Okay. So you're. Like no, I haven't done anyone's actions, but so there's yeah. there's me, you, the donkey, the porter, the cart. Okay, and then we're left in the room. And then left in the room with the cart. Okay. No. Him. I have it. You two rows. Why is two rows ahead of me? When the next to the donkey. Because you're next to the donkey. You said. Yeah, but he's behind the donkey. Yeah, I'm in front he, of the he's donkey. Not, he's, he's driving, driving the, the donkey. Cart, oh. He, yeah. I heard next to the donkey, so I put him next to the donkey, and then I put you on the other side. Oh. <laughs> well, so you could calm the donkey down. No, he's still in the cart. I yeah, mean, to I be fair, him. we could probably have still the cart. have it stampede in its tiny donkey. So, before we start to describe. Buddy, stop it. So. <laughs> Buddy can't stop it. Abram. God. I made these names. You'd think I'd remember them. <laughs> <laughs> Who's uh, he talking about? 
apron basically leap forward out of nowhere. Like, you guys see a whole bunch of sand and, like, green and blue, and it's like, OH MY GOD, WATER! If any of you have ever, like, or have never come out of the desert to an area with greenery, you don't understand the shock that happens. There is actually a shock that happens when you first see green, and you're like, oh shit. Whoa. Um, fuck you, Nevada. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, so, all of a sudden, Abram jumps forward out of nowhere, slices, pulls out his cleaver, and slices the grass off, forcing a claw strider, aka basically a giant raptor, um, back into a clear area where it's just kind of on display for everyone. Feathers and raptor deaths, dinosaur, <laughs> everything. Just right there, ready to go. Full screaming dinner. Mm-hmm. You're screaming, I found it. Yeah. <laughs> the raptor, of course, screams back in his face, but. <laughs> Shock, uh, anger, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> We're not really sure. Nobody speaks classical. All of, all of, all of, all of, its, giant all of its weak bit, uh, bits are exposed. Um, Dinner, fuck you, I'm an apex predator! <laughs> Until you guys I declare that you are engaging one of them. The enemies for the scene are at short. I didn't declare this before the joint battle because of the situation. The enemies for the scene are at short range. You have a reflexive move, so you made it from close to their close. Yep. Um, are at short range. The cart is currently close range to all of you. So. Yeah. I don't know if that made any sense. That's okay. There's a raptor behind the cart, to the left of the cart, to the right of the cart, and the one I'm facing. Mm. Of course. Oh. Oh. Front left, right, back left, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yay. Um, your action. Can I actually see it? Or it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, you can see all four of them. I don't want to be gender specific. <laughs> you can see all four of them. Oh, God. <laughs> if Washington ever became part oh, of the Bible Belt, I would the world would it down. No, the yeah. world would end first. It would no, I'm defecting to Ireland. That damn biblically unreferenced Seattle. What's the Bible belt? Are Please you, tell me you're joking. Are, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you joking? Yes, I'm serious. Uh-huh. I'm dead serious. Okay. Excuse us for a moment. <laughs> We're going to take a moment to educate one of our own. Hang on, let's sit. Beat heavily. Sit in. No, no, sit in. We're in for a ride. Hang on. Not, would you like to explain? There's a reason why I'm so. <laughs> have you? Have you? have never been. You've never been out of Washington, have you? I've been to Florida once. So you have been to Florida. You've crossed it. You've been, been in the Bible Belt. I have. Florida is pretty much the prominent. That's the buckle. Yeah, the buckle. That's the electrified buckle that they hit you with. <laughs> I thought it was just the wine. No. Wow. This is the way of the end. A way no, is undignified and not Christian, so you keep that cloak. <laughs> <laughs> to keep it, like, under the belt. It's a yeah. weird stump like thing. See what I keep did it under there? the belt. Who does that? Fuckers. <laughs> um, the Bible Belt is the collection of southern states that subscribe to a Christian fundamentalist. Westboro so. Baptist Church. You know, not that just. Yeah. Not just them, yeah. that's an example. Yeah. And that's not the only thing in the Bible Belt, nor even where the Bible Belt got its name. I, mean, that's I didn't even know that Florida was part of the Bible Belt. Yeah, Northern Florida in particular. Yeah. Very Especially religious. Pensacola. No offense. It has one porn, yeah. Pensacola has one porn store that survives purely from the protection of the military bases. Exactly. Because it's right between two of them. It's what like, Pensacola is basically it's it's, like a, it's a mile yeah a mile to I, the left and right of this porn store is a naval base mm-hmm. one on each side and uh, anybody in Pensacola they know, probably know who I'm talking about what store I'm talking about if it's still there but uh, it's like not even a mile away from Cory Station I haven't been to Pensacola in so long and uh, <laughs> they constantly <laughs> try to shut it down because it's ungodly. Like, literally, one of the attempts to shut it down flat out said to protect our uh, 
our neighborhood, we must shut down this ungodly something, something, something. Like, it was terrible. It was, like, straight out super biblical, like, <gasps> we will die in a flood of fire if we don't close down this porn store immediately. Because sex never happens. Now, not to say that religiousness is bad. No. The Bible Belt is famous for our religion is everyone's religion. Regardless of whether or not that's true. It's just what it happens to be famous for. Yeah. It's where all the rich churches are. No, that's not true. Actually, no, those are in yeah. Southern California. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> those, are so those are creepy. That's a whole different beast. Yeah. They're yeah. creepy. Yep. They are creepy. They have a name for that. I can't remember. Mega church. Well, the televised one specifically. Televangelism. Televangelism. Thank you. Yeah. That one. That one. <laughs> I was like, that can't clearly. Oh, the 700 Club. Evangelical sect of Christianity is just creepy as fuck, too. Yeah. Uh, reference Tammy Finn. <laughs> yeah! Have you found Jesus? <laughs> God damn it. Well, that reminds me of something. The Duggars. I am perfect! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> he came over one day and I was watching yes! Death Race 2050. And, like, the moment she walked in the door, <laughs> so many movies. it was <laughs> right at the scene where a character named Perfectus had driven his car as fast as he could over a ramp to try to get ahead. And, well, flooring through the air, close up on his face, he's screaming, I am Perfectus! That's literally when I walked through the door. <laughs> it was great. So you're a Perfectus. Am I Perfectus? She needs a full match. 